Ladies and gentlemen, the snow and king crab in Alaska has collapsed. Their population has collapsed so much that they are canceling snow crab season. And this is a terrible thing for those people that live in Alaska that made their entire living on crabs. Well, they're not able to do their jobs anymore. He ain't supposed to eat them things anyway. You know, now they do what they do best, y'all. Anytime they are 100% responsible for something, it's climate change that caused it. No, it's you overfishing these things and eating these animals which were made and created to clean the ocean. You didn't even allow them to do what they were supposed to do on this earth. No, you overfished them. That's what happened. So, you know, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. Alaska will cancel the upcoming winter snow crab season in the Bering Sea for the first time and bar fishers from catching king crabs in the Bristol Bay for the second consecutive year because of a sharp decline in their estimated population. Well, ladies and gentlemen, although, you know, we don't eat those things if you are a Hebrew, um, there are still many, probably the majority of the population out here are eating this shellfish. So this week's announcement by the Alaska Department of Fish and Game deal a severe blow to fishers that make a living off of crabs. They also bring back to the forefront questions about the role of climate change and a rapid decline of snow crabs. You know, you overfish them things. You know, I love how these people don't want to take responsibility for nothing. Their population is down due to overfishing them. Ain't no climate change did this. So the number of juvenile crabs was at a record high just a few years ago, just before 90% of snow crabs mysteriously disappeared ahead of last season. Alaskan officials said they had consulted carefully with stakeholders before canceling the season. They said they were aware of the impact of the closures on harvesters, industry, and communities, but they had to balance economic needs with conservation. These are truly unprecedented and troubling times for Alaska's iconic crab fisheries, said Jamie Gowen, executive director of the Alaska Bering Sea Crabbers, the trade association that says it represents some 70% of local crab harvesters in a statement. Second and third generation crab fishing families will go out of business due to the lack of meaningful protections by decision makers to help crab stock recover. Yeah, because you overfished them. <laughs> okay, if you got to let it recover, that means you overfished the crabs. But you're sitting here talking about climate change. It's not no climate change. Alaska crab fishing industry is worth more than $200 million, according to a report by the Alaska Seafood Marketing Institute, which promotes seafood. The state supplies 6% of the world's king, snow, tanner, and dungeness crabs, per the institute. Male Alaskan snow crabs can have a shell a width of six inches. King crabs are much larger, and eating one at a restaurant can cost hundreds of dollars. Yeah, it is very expensive, even before all of this inflation stuff. The industry is a crucial source of income for many 
of the 65 communities that make up the Western Alaska Community Development Quota Program, which reserves part of each year's harvest to remote villages that have limited economic opportunities, the Washington Post previously reported. For about a decade, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration documented and continued decline in the estimated population of mature male snow crabs, the only kind allowed to be harvested in the Barren Sea. But hopes were raised after a record number of juvenile crabs were spotted in the ocean, and that was back in 2018 and 2019. So they thought they were possibly making a comeback, but that's not the case at all, y'all. For some reason, they are still not entirely clear. The population appears to have crashed. The federal government now designates snow crabs as overfished. Didn't I tell you that in the beginning of the article? I didn't read this prior to, y'all. I didn't. But they said it was climate change, and I told y'all it was overfishing. They've been overfishing these things forever now. It's a wonder it took this long for the population to crash. Wow. No, man did this. Isn't a, no, uh-uh, man did this. The federal government, Okay, so they said that the crabs are now designated as overfished. The stock in the Red King crab, the largest of the commercial uh, harvest crabs in size, is considered below the target level by the NOAA in some waters. Last year, Alaska closed king crab season for the first time since ni- the, the 1990s. So, They usually have this every single year, but for like the last two years, they couldn't. It's not enough king crabs in the water. Scientists have expressed suspicions on warmer temperatures in recent years have been responsible. They don't want to take responsibility for nothing. Those crabs, some of those crabs are well over 100 years old. They've been in all kinds of temperatures and survived. But no, no, it can't be you. No, it's climate change. It's warmer uh, ocean temperatures. It's anything but you. Alaska summers and oceans have become warmer, scientists say, resulting in a significantly higher seasonal loss of sea ice. The U.S. Environment Protection Agency said in a recent report that the rising temperatures may have forced species such as snow crabs to further go further north or deeper in the sea. Wow. In the Barren Sea, the Alaska Pollock, a snow crab and Pacific halibut have generally shifted away from the coast since the early 80s, the EPA wrote. They have also moved northward by an average of 19 miles. A December 2020 report co-written by the Alaska fishing officials also found that the decrease in the geographical size of snow crab habitats could be linked to warming. And I'm telling you, they were greedy. They were making a lot of money off of these crabs and they overfished them. Y'all, I'm, I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. They can keep blaming all these other things. It's them out there being over greedy. It's all about capitalism. And they just plucked out those crabs by the millions every single year to the point where they depleted them. But they don't want to admit that now. 
But y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.